everybody, this is Magpie Cliff. Welcome to this speed build of a post-apocalyptic house. Well, it's actually a speed flip because I didn't build this house myself. So shout out to Joshi Jim for lending me her building <laughs> and uh, letting me completely destroy it. <laughs> um, I, uh, I, I needed a certain type of house for this build or I had a certain type of house in mind, but I, I at the same time, I didn't really know where to start. Um, I was going for a specific look and I came across this uh, build on Josie's channel and I just thought this is perfect. So I asked her if uh, I could um, use it for this house flip and uh, she said yes. So thank you Josie <laughs> for letting me use your, your house and I'm sorry for what I'm about to do with it. <laughs> um, it, uh, it got destroyed. Well, actually, I uh, I tossed it 20 years into the apocalypse. So, um, sorry, Josie. <laughs> um, I, I hope you like it. Um, I went for a certain look in this one. Uh, I've, been do I've been wanting to, uh, to make this kind of build for a very long time. But I just, uh, I needed certain items to do it. So, um, this was uh, back when I didn't really know about custom content and um, I haven't uh, explored that that part of The Sims yet, so there was some items in that uh, the vampire pack that I needed, like the dead trees and um, some of the plants and the holes you can put in walls, or like when the um, the wallpaper is like shredded off, that kind of stuff um, that makes a house look uh, worn down, that kind of style. Um, but then I, uh, I started exploring custom content and uh, I found all these uh, perfect items that I could use to, to make this house get that perfect look, look that I was going for. Um, so that is all these um, plants climbing up the walls and the boards on the windows, that kind of stuff that isn't in um, The Sims for base game. and basically all broken stuff <laughs> that I that I needed. Um, so yeah, a very specific look. So if you haven't guessed already, this build or flip is very much inspired by uh, Naughty Dog's game The Last of Us, which is one of my favorite games, if not my favorite <laughs> game of all time, at least video games. Um, I'm very excited about doing this build. Like I said, I've been wanting to do it for a very long time. And uh, it's it's finally happening. It's uh, it's done now. <laughs> I even uh, I even tried to make a, an Ellie and a Joel. <laughs> um, if you know the characters from the game, um, they're very quick, so I'm not uh, suggesting that they they look like them. But I think I think if you know those characters, you'll you'll get it when you see them in the end of the video in uh, in the video tour. Um, and if you want to download this from my gallery, I will have it uploaded, but there is a lot of custom content in this build. And <laughs> like I talked about in, uh, in a previous video, um, my mods folder is, uh, is a bit messy <laughs> to say the least. Um, but I will try to link all the most important items that I use, like the plants and the window boards and some of all the broken furniture that that really make this uh, this look um, that I'm going for. So yeah, um, if you haven't played The Last of Us yet, what what are you even doing? Go do that. Stop this video. <laughs> Stop everything you're doing. Go get The Last of Us and play it. Um, you only need a PlayStation 4, I think. I don't know if there it's available on other platforms. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. But it's on sale at the PS Store right now, so go get it. It's very cheap. I've been waiting for so long to get it, and there is a spring sale going on right now, so I just got it finally. The first time I played it, uh, I borrowed it from a friend, and I wanted it, wanted to get it for myself ever since. So I finally have it now. Um, so a very, very nice sale going on. It's some very good games. I also got the Nathan Drake collection. I think that's what, it, what it's called with the first three um, Uncharted games. Uh, I haven't played those before, so very excited about that. I've only played um, number four and I've seen Let's Plays of, uh, what's it called? The one with the girls. 
Lost Legacy, <laughs> the one with Chloe and Nadine. Uh, really fun, a uh, little Uncharted game. Um, I, wa I want to play it myself sometime, but right now I have uh, the three first Uncharted games and The Last of Us to play, so I have plenty of games uh, in line <laughs> for me to play. Also, uh, also Hugh that I promised on this channel that I will play, but I've been mostly into Sims um, lately. So yeah, that's what's going on here right now. Um, okay, so let me talk a bit more about the build. So like I said, it's inspired by The Last of Us, which takes place 20 years into the zombie apocalypse. I'm not sure if this particular build is that kind of apocalypse. It's definitely something that has, uh, if not killed most of the human race, but um, they're definitely, uh, something happened to them. I don't know if they turned into zombies or if they just died. You'll, f you'll make something up for yourself. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna do that for you. Um, but yeah, 20 years. So I wanted to make everything really worn down and broken. And some of the walls, I'm, I tried to make it look like they have collapsed. Maybe if um, someone has attacked the house or maybe even bombed it. I'm not sure what happened um, and that was on purpose. I wanted to make this thing look look weird. So when you come across this house, you're like, what the hell happened here? And you can uh, make your own theories about what happened. Um, so that's the idea that these uh, Ellie and Joel characters that I made, they just came across this and uh, they're looting it and checking if there's any food and uh, they found some shelter for the night before they, they move on on their mission or adventure or just, you know, life in this post-apocalyptic world. So uh, I make great use of those uh, those bricks I found. I'll, again, I'll try to link uh, some download stuff for that. Um, yeah. Let's see what else you're talking about. Yeah, I, I looked for, like I said, some, some broken items and items that could make stuff look broken. So I used these uh, countertops from... What the fuck is that? Right, <laughs> City Living, sorry. Um, because they look a little worn down, but not broken. And I wanted it to, to be as, as realistic as possible, because not this whole house got bombed or <laughs> whatever happened. But it's just... Um, time has taken its toll is that the word um the time has been rough on it <laughs> so that's the look i was going for and i also found this uh i think it works like a wall decoration like all the um the paintings but it's just like this uh, smudgy uh, spot that you could put on the wall to make it look dirty but i don't know why it doesn't show up in my game after i downloaded it but then I figured out later that some of the stuff I downloaded was actually for The Sims 3 and that's why it doesn't work. So I found a lot of stuff that I downloaded that I thought I could use, but they just never showed up in my game. So maybe they're broken, maybe I downloaded um, Sims 3 stuff, I don't know. And I'll probably never find out <laughs> because my mods folder is so <laughs> cluttered and uh, messy and there's hardly any, any organization in it. Um, so, yeah, sorry about uh, the confusion about all the CC, but I basically just wanted to uh, to share this build uh, on YouTube to show you uh, <laughs> what I did. And I really hope you like it because I spent a lot of time on this and uh, I actually think it, it looks uh, looks pretty good. Uh, it definitely got got the vibe that I was going for. And yeah, all the, the, um, the boards on the windows is like, the people originally originally living here, they were defending themselves and trying to keep whatever out. Uh, I don't know if it was zombies or just people going rogue and attacking everything. You know, when people panic and, you know, just go crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's the vibe. And this room, uh, I'm imagining that it's not the original people that lived here. It's like after they disappeared uh, in whatever way. And then um, some other people came to this house, maybe tried to figure this whole crisis out, maybe tried to find a cure 
or um, do some experiments. There's definitely something weird going on in this room and there's uh, this blood on the wall that will come up later because I haven't found that CC yet at this point. Um, but there's all, all, all these little, um, what are they called, like vials with uh, substances in and, uh, and knives and something uh, sketchy has been going on in this room. Um, and some someone have been uh, in some way working on on this whole crisis that's going on in the world. If not trying to solve it, then maybe trying to make it worse. I don't know. Uh, let your imagination uh, <laughs> uh, decide. And um, so each room had uh, had a purpose before I started destroying it. So the house that Josie made. Um, it has a kid's room and a bedroom, so I wanted to f to flip it, but keep it in that uh, style. So each room kept their purpose. So the bedroom stayed a bedroom, and the kid's room stayed a kid room, and so on. Um, so I tried not to change that. Um, so it would uh, it would look like uh, an old house that's just been worn down and uh, been a victim of this apocalypse in. Uh, in whatever way that apocalypse worked. Um, so everything kind of stayed the way it is or was, and then time has just worn it down, basically. And everything that was white, like the fence, the pillars, the windows, everything that was just this, uh, nice clean, I turned it gray to make it look dirty or worn down. And I made, oh, sorry, I used a lot of the wallpapers from um, City Living that kind of work like the countertops because they look dirty and worn down. So I was perfect for this build. Uh, and I changed some of the floors and stuff because um, Josie also used a lot of packs that I don't have. So um, that opened up for some stuff that I could put in because I didn't have the, the items there. Um, and yeah, some places I took down the walls to, like I said, make it look um, all broken. Um, but it was really difficult to, to make the walls look broken because they're just this really clean cut and um, and I tried to do some something with half walls and taking the walls away completely and just putting up some, some bricks to make it look like the wall just collapsed um, by something. I also added this little pond outside um, that's I'm guessing it wasn't there to begin with. It's um, I'm guessing it it, it just uh, emerged um, somehow. Maybe there was a, uh, what's it called? Like when a bomb dropped, it made this uh, huge uh, crater in, uh, in the ground. And with time, it just filled up with water, it made this little pond and it um, ruined the fence and stuff. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I just put in that I felt like could um, emerge. Uh, within these uh, this 20 years um, into into the apocalypse where people have just left it behind. So nature have just kept going and evolved and the bushes in uh, in all these uh, what are they called? Like plant <laughs> areas. Um, they just uh, kept growing and uh, taking over the building and climbing up the walls and climbing inside. So so yeah, that's that's the like I said a thousand times already. That's the look that I was going for. Um, let me just see what else do I need to talk about. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. It was uh, it was really fun to do. Like just uh, not really. There was not really any uh, organization in in building this. It was just like going crazy, imagining these plants just going all over the place. It was really fun to play with the plants because some of them are inside and they broke through the walls or found a hole and just uh, <laughs> climbed in. And I really like this uh, this green plant that looks like uh, like weed. That was some um, custom content I found. I will definitely link that one below because I use that all the time. Um, and there's a tent outside because maybe someone camped out there for some reason. I'm not sure. <laughs> and yeah, there are plants in, in the bathtub. Yeah, so I don't think there's uh, that's much more to talk about. Um, I really hope you enjoyed watching this build. I definitely enjoyed uh, doing it, or you know, flipping Josie's house. 
Um, and I, uh, I hope you like the little uh, start phone. Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the um, video tour that's in the end. They'll be there in a minute. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to go play The Last of Us or I'll get you. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!